Hello, this is Noseman from the Max on Training Team. And in today's quick tip, I'm going to show you how to make liquid particles in this brand new scene. And uh, by the way, you need to be in Cinema 4D version 2025.3. Let's go and create a default circle. With the circle selected, let's go to the Simulate menu and go to the Emitters and select Spline Emitter. Let's go to the Spline Emitter Emission Settings and set the shot to 30,000 particles. And if I rewind and press play, you will see that we're going to get 30,000 particles shot and going in all sorts of directions. Let me extend my animation to 600 frames. And I'm going to go to the properties and uh, emit them being still without any speed. Now, if I press play again, you will see that we just get the particles just sitting there I promise you we have a lot of particles here. Now let's go again to the simulate menu and from the modifiers I'm going to go and select the follow spline modifier, put it all the way down here and connect the circle to it and let's uh, press play and see what happens. Now you can see the particles are trying to go around. Excellent and now we're going to add the modifier that creates the liquids. So let's go simulate modifiers right down here at the bottom. Let's add a liquify modifier. Rewind, press play, and you will see now that the particles are behaving like a liquid, but they have gravity. So stop your simulation, press Ctrl or Command D to go to your scene settings, simulation, scene, and remove the gravity. If you want to have your own gravity later on, you can add this back in or you can create it using a gravity force. Fantastic. Now let's rewind, press play, and you can see they're going around and they're trying to follow the spline using the follow spline modifier. Now let's go and add a bit of variation to this. I'm going to go to the simulate menu and select a turbulence, drag it all the way down here and set the strength to one, the scale to around 30% and change the mode to force. You can use that because the particles have mass and you can use smaller values to move them around. So now let's rewind and press play and you will see that we're going to get these particles with ever so slight noisiness, but we need to do one more thing. The particles by default, if you go to your scene simulation settings and go to the liquids, are generated with a default radius of three centimeters. This is the radius which most of the constraints are based upon. So we need to make this smaller. I'm going to set it to one, press enter rewind, press play, and uh, this is how you make your particles liquid. If you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment, subscribe, and enable notifications so you never miss another quick tip.